grab it here again. Just want to present my own latest acquisition. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, feels like I've made this video before. Uh, aha! This is the Omega 500 Plus. Yeah, that's not the Omega 500 I presented last time. Um, also um, known as the um, 500 Plus. Uh, has a 6 8 thousand processor motor all up and it's got this built-in graphics and sound co-processors all in this one unit it was released in the UK uh, 1991 and then if we're looking at the Omega 500 series um, and that includes Omega 500 Classic and the Omega 500 Plus, they sold about four to five million units worldwide. And um, the 500 Plus was <laughs> discontinued in 1992, so it didn't have a very long life. So, but anyway, I have one, so that's actually interesting. It's got uh, one floppy drive. Um, and that um, double side can support double-sided discs, and it could have a capacity of 901 and 1,120 bytes. It could also read um, uh, MS IBM PC formatted discs in um, 360 and 720 kilobyte formats. So, uh, kind of makes it that kind of useful. Uh, now then, this should have one megabyte of um, chip RAM. The, when you read on the internet and stuff, it seems to be a little bit unclear exactly what this will contain, but um, we will find that out um, over time. I, I, um, it um, runs, so uh, it has Kickstart 2.04. And it also uh, requires the workbench 2.04. And, uh, and I got this when I got this. I, I got it without accessories, no discs, no power supply, and nothing. So it's just it's just the unit. And um, it's also an untested assault. So no idea if this works. Let's see what other information we have? Yeah, this has a built-in real-time clock. <laughs> So we've advanced in technology in the in the home computing space that you can actually have a computer that has a battery backed up real time. Uh, it has the en enhanced chipset, so it's the more later revision of the uh, Amiga um, chipset. Uh, it's a new version of Angus chip and, and, and Dennis chip. But if you look in the back, it has a whole row of connectors. Oh, let's see now. Uh, let's start from this end. So that's monochrome video. The Amiga proprietary, Commodore Amiga proprietary RGB connector, power supply. Uh, I think that was external disk drive, serial port, full full size serial port, and then a parallel port, um, two right and left for the sound. And then you have these combined um, joystick mouse connectors. As you see, there's actually very little evidence of yellowing in this unit. I mean, they, it hasn't been cleaned uh, prior to, by the seller prior to shipping, so you can see that it's it's uh, ah, dirty, but it's not um, hasn't got that extensive yellowing damage. Uh, Yes, uh, it's missing its side cover, which is a pity, but it, the trapdoor cover is still there. And um, the rubber feet are still in place. Very often in Amigas, when you get them used, they don't have the feet. Uh, one sad small detail is that the sticker here, which gives you the um, 
serial number and then the uh, often the course of the country of manufacturer is missing but uh, we can probably um, find that out um, when we, as we move forward with this so what do I intend to do with this one um, tend to restore it to its original glorious as much as I ah, as best I can, so this will also go through a restoration process. I did that with the Amiga 500. If you're interested, you can look at that video series. I won't be uh, videoing this in the same detail as I did the Amiga 500 because the, the, if you're interested in the really nitty gritty details about rest restoration and cleaning, then um, you can watch those videos because it's going to be the same process as this. But we'll, we we will um. Uh, go through this, uh, the main main steps. Um, anyway, so you know, like disassembly and just review of, of the of the in, yeah, kind of different components and what needs to be done with them and stuff. So, uh, and then possibly the um, yeah, a few other videos depending on well, depending on what we find in here. Um, I kind of expect this is a newer machine. I I don't see any any direct evidence of, of it being in really bad shape and so but you never know until we get it open so if you're interested um, consider subscribing hitting the bell icon and you won't miss the opportunity to pick up on the video when I um, actually move to disassemble this and uh, yeah see you in the next one